गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू द कंप्यूटर क्लास ऑफ एट स्टैंडर्ड टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द सेम चैप्टर दैट वी हैव स्टार्टेड इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट इज लेसन नंबर फाइव इंट्रोडक्शन टू जावा एंड ब्लू जे एंड स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू जावा इंट्रोडक्शन टू ब्लू जे एंड इट्स फीचर्स वॉट इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट क्लास फीचर्स ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग स्टार्टिंग ब्लू जे मॉडिफाइंग अ प्रोग्राम फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ जावा लैंग्वेज डेटा टाइप्स एंड थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस रेस्ट ऑफ द टू टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स विच आर ऑन पेज नंबर सिक्सटी फाइव एंड सिक्सटी सिक्स एंड द ऑपरेटर्स आर यूनरी ऑपरेटर एंड असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर यूनरी ऑपरेटर यूनियन ऑपरेटर वर्क्स ऑन सिंगल वेरिएबल और कॉन्स्टेंट दीज ऑपरेटर्स आर यूज टू इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज द वैल्यू ऑफ वेरिएबल बाय वन लाइक हियर वी हैव टू ऑपरेटर्स प्लस प्लस एंड माइनस माइनस प्लस प्लस मीन्स इट विल इंक्रीज द वैल्यू ऑफ वेरिएबल बाय वन एंड माइनस माइनस मीन्स इट विल डिक्रीज द वैल्यू ऑफ variable by 1 a plus plus this is an example of unary increment operator and a minus minus example of unary decrement operator here you can see by evaluation how can we do this if we have value of a is equal to 8 first of all write the equation a equal to a plus 1 why 1 because unary operator always increase the or decrease the value by One, so a equal to a plus one means the value of a will be increased by one. A equal to a minus one means the value of a will be decreased by one. So here we have value of a is eight. A plus one means eight plus one. The answer is nine. A minus one means eight minus one. The answer is seven. so these are the increment and decrement operator of unary type next is assignment operator assignment operator is used to assign the value to a variable the variables are always on the left side of the assignment operator and the values to be assigned is always on the right side of the assignment operator now here we have five types of assignment operator plus equal to minus equal to multiply equal to division equal to and modulus equal to students these are the basic operators that we have done in arithmetic operators like plus minus multiply division and modulus only one symbol is added with them that is equal to equal to means to assign the value Now here let's see how to write these variables or operators. A equal to a plus one means here we have taken a equal to eight and n equal to four. Now students see how to write a equal to a plus one means we are going to assign value to a only. The value of a is eight and plus one means we are increasing the value of a by 1 so the answer is 9 you can write here any equation and after solving that equation the output of a will be considered as a one value next is minus with equal to a equal to a minus 1 so the answer is 8 minus 1 is 7 next is multiplication here we are multiplying two variables Here we have done the operators with one constant. The one is constant. Here also one is constant. But here we are using variable. So a multiplied by n means eight multiplied by four is thirty-two. Next is divide. A is equal to a divided by n. We have already done division in arithmetic operator that n will be outside from the division symbol and the value of a will be inside. so the answer is 4 to the 8 answer is 2 next is modulus as you know modulus means to find out the remainder of dividing two values 
so we are here we are dividing two values 8 and 4 as a and n the remainder will be 0 why because 4 to the 8 and there will be no remainder after dividing 8 and 4 so the answer of this is 0 so students till here we have done operators Arithmetic operator, relational operators, logical operators, unary operators, and assignment operators. Now let's see one example that is on page number 66 through practically. Now I'm going to open a starting blue J. Click on start button, click on blue J, then click on blue J option. Blue J window will appear now here. Blue J window is open. Now start doing program. First of all, we have to follow some steps. The program which I am going to do in Blue J, that is example number 3 on page number 66. And the program is to find the simple interest where the principal interest and time are given. Now open Blue J. As we have done, firstly we have to create new project, click on project, new project, write down the name of project, like I am giving interest rate, click on create, project is created, click on new class button, give the name to your program like simple interest click on ok now here class is also created now double click on this class icon this window will appear after double clicking on class icon now select the full matter by pressing Ctrl plus A and then press Ctrl plus X to delete the work and start your program here public class give the name of class that we have given while creating simple interest enter curly braces public static void mean now here in bracket write down string args square bracket and again open curly braces now from here our program will start so in program they have given principal so i am checking on place of principal p According to the book, I am writing 6000. Then put comma R. R means rate equal to 10. Then again put comma. Then time. T I am taking here. So that time is 2. So students, here they have given principal interest and time. And we have to find simple interest. Enter. Float. Float means we will take decimal value. Float amount. A and T. You can write full amount also. So in amount our output will be save. Enter. Write down the formula. The formula is P into R into T. And divided by 100. So write down the formula. We have to write a formula because computer doesn't know any formula. So whichever the formula we will give, it will consider only that. So a formula should be right. So that no wrong output will display on the screen. Then press enter. Now our last step is to print the output on the screen. Without this step, we are not able to see the output. Till here, we have just given the values and formula. But without the system.out.println, computer will not give you output. So this line is must. Don't forget this line. 
after applying every formula or giving any value so write down the variable where you want to store the output so in amt means amount variable we have given the full formula it means our output will be stored in amount so write down amt close the bracket semicolon as we have discussed that semicolon means ending of one line or one statement and after semicolon your next work will start but here we are going to finish the program and after this line close the curly braces here we have opened two curly braces so we have to close two curly braces so till here we have done the program and after completing the program our next step is to compile the work so that it can tell you if there any error is there in your program then you can remove that before execution of your program so here computer has given that no syntax error it means there is no error in our program now we can execute our program now close this class right click on class icon click on void main and then click on okay here you can say computer has given output that is 1200 so a simple interest is 1200 why they have given in dot dot because we have taken the variable where output is stored in float so float means decimal value that's why our output is in decimal places so students in previous video we have discussed about arithmetic relational and logical operators and today's video we have learned unary operators and assignment operators so students read and learn these topics again for the better understanding thank you